Today we are featuring something fun, it's Orange Foods, and I'm here with Diana Eisman in person, <laughs> right here, and we got it going on. So what we're doing is, we thought, hey, we're going to feature all of this amazing food on our retreat that's coming up, September 23rd through the 28th, and we thought, hey, why not make some of it and show you what it looks like, and also show you some options that you can do with orange foods because again we eat with the seasons we eat locally and this is what's growing right now and this is pretty much the most nourishing healthy food you can get if you're buying local seasonal organic you know the whole farm to table concept so we are going to show you some of our favorite orange foods we got really creative and are you ready to get started Absolutely. Woo! This is how to make it simple. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing too. We really wanted to focus on how you can use few ingredients to make a really flavorful, amazing dish. And many different without having to buy a hundred different ingredients. Yeah. That was the other thing you said the other day that I loved was this butternut squash. You like, can make a million things. And how cheap, you know? Yeah. It was cheap what, like food. Like $2? Yeah. It's such a good food and so nutritious and you just gotta know what to do with it. A lot of people yeah. don't even know how to cut it or prepare it, and mm -hmm. so people are intimidated by a lot of these, ex not really exotic, but whatever is in season. Pumpkin, mm -hmm. how do I cut it, how do I prep it, what do I do with it? Yeah, most people think it's just a decoration, but this is also an awesome food, too. You can eat it. Yep. So not only pumpkin seeds, but pumpkin flavored stuff. So Diana, what is your first dish? that you want to show off here. I'm not sure what to choose. I know, there's so many options. But one of my favorite <laughs> is pumpkin wrap bacon. Oh. And, or not pumpkin, I guess it's actually butternut squash. Mm. And it's simply just peeled, cut, wrapped with bacon, and you bake it in the oven. And that's all you need to do. That's it's so easy. It's such an easy snack, and it's two ingredients. That's and it. it's husband and boyfriend approved, too. Oh, yeah. Right? You, that's me. Everyone loves bacon. Also. Unless they're mm -hmm. vegan. <laughs> In that case, no. <laughs> no, oh my god. In that case, maybe just plain butternut squash. Yes. Still good. <laughs> but it, it's amazing. I love it. Simple to make, and it doesn't require anything other than for you to know how to cut a butternut squash. Oh, which might be a future video if you're curious about how that goes down. <laughs> <laughs> the second one that I made was simply just butternut squash and sweet potatoes. Mm, you dessert. cut it up into little pieces <laughs> and it's the best dessert ever. Sprinkle it with some nutmeg, some cinnamon and cardamom. Let them bake. When they're almost done, you pour over a little honey or maple syrup. Give it another 10 minutes and I swear it is the best dessert ever. No artificial be... ingredients, no nothing. Oh, you should yeah, really clean the camera. It's like you should hear Dan when he's eating this. It's like, you know it's good just by, just by the amazing sounds that are coming out of him. <laughs> and if you want to go all in on this and it's like a serious cheat day for you, then put some vanilla ice cream on there and it tastes like bread pudding. Somehow it magically turns into bread pudding. Mmm, it's so good. Legit, and that's only <laughs> two ingredients with a few spices. But. Yeah, and when it's a dessert like that, I mean, this is definitely not the kind of, it's not like going to the store and getting Snickers and no, just eating no, no, a Snickers. No. This is like real food from the yeah. earth, good quality stuff. You put good quality ingredients into the, like a spices, cinnamon, maple syrup, or honey. Yeah, so good. And it's, it's real. It's absolutely amazing. So you got both appetizers and a dessert. Yeah. Um, that little sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can make a lot of food with one butternut squash, one of these little babies. Mm -hmm. But what do you use it for? Ooh, so I use butternut squash to make my soup. It's a butternut squash and ginger soup, and we garnished it with some cinnamon and cilantro, but it is such a delicious, warming fall soup. Like, it just has a little bit of spice to it, or a lot of spice if you end up putting a lot of ginger in on accident. Sometimes that happens, I'm just going to say. No, never. Yes, that did happen. But what you can do too that's amazing is put some quinoa in it. And if you are doing the 8 Week Bikini Body Abs program that I have, then you'll see that this is one of the recipes in there. It's simple. Again, two ingredients. We've got ginger and we've got butternut squash. Or you could use kabocha squash, you can use pumpkin, any of these different varieties of that you can go for. And it's, it's just really delicious and warming. Um, 
What about that? What's going on over here? <laughs> that! That one! I want to know about that, that one! That thing <laughs> is like the most simple salad ever to make. It's ridiculous mm. and it's so, so good. You know, oftentimes we have carrots and we're like, what the freak do I do with it? Other than <laughs> just put it in a salad or Isn't eat it. Isn't that what off. you said? That's right. <laughs> what do you do with it? <laughs> Carrot soup, man. So you simply just grate it and you chop an, uh, an orange and pour some mm -hmm. lemon juice and orange juice over it. And I add raisins because I love raisins. But mm -hmm. if you're on a very carbohydrate restricted diet, then maybe leave out the raisins. But this salad is so good and the lemon and the oranges together just Oh, oh wow. It's like, it excites me. And you can add <laughs> whatever you want. Out. But this is really all I need. Lemon juice, oranges, and carrots. And you have to try it out. It sounds too simple to be good, mm. but this is how I like to work. I don't, I don't want it to take a lot of time. I don't want to be doing a whole lot, getting 100 ingredients that you end up not using. So once again, this is three ingredients. Yeah. Carrots, lemon, and oranges. Well, and raisins. <laughs> Yeah, it's so good. And that's one of those things where when you're eating it, you're pretty much content with just one bowl of stuff, you know? Yeah. Because it's got a ton of flavor and it's really compact on its own. Like, I could see taking that to work oh, and yeah. just having it, you know, a quick snack or a lunch or whatever it may be. Yeah. Great right on the go kind of food. So what's that thing? Ooh, this is hummus and it's made with orange beets. So you've probably seen me post a million times my red beet hummus because I love it and it's always a party favorite. But this time of year we're making it with orange beets and we actually added some turmeric in there too. And turmeric is amazing anti-inflammatory and most people don't know what the heck to do with turmeric either. Mm. So we put some in the hummus and you get all the benefits of that. Super simple recipe, just a few ingredients, and it's very clean. We garnished it with some candied pecans and more cilantro, just some of that. Just that do would that. be good in the soup too, maybe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You could just yeah, I can see that. dollop of that in there. Yeah. And then we cut up some awesome orange foods to dip into our hummus. So you have carrots and then red peppers. So, try that. I want those pecans, man. Mm. What? Those are good. <laughs> Pecan monster. <laughs> Yum. Mm. So that brings us to our salad. We mm. made an awesome salad here with. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I know that thing. That's mm. the thing about these pecans. Mm. When you make them, they can do so much. You can garnish stuff with them. You can put them They'd on your salad. They'd be good on the dessert as well. They'd be good on there. Right, and on there. Put them on there. Mm-hmm. Let's put them on everything. I like that. Pecans. Mm. And then they're just awesome on their own. Seriously, if you get a sweet craving at night and you just need like a little dessert, just eat a few of these because all it is is pecans and 100% pure grade A maple syrup. That's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, what we put on here, chopped carrots, some orange pepper, we did Tomatoes. orange tomato, and then we threw some pear in there too. You can also put apple. Salads are a thing that most people are opposed to because it's they don't boring. know how to make them. Yeah, it's boring. But when you put all these different things of different textures, just different flavors, it gets really fun really quick. So we definitely encourage you to do that. You've got the sweetness of the pecans, you've got, and you can cut things different ways to make them taste even different. Um, a good dressing for this Something simple, you could either just do lemon, lemon's awesome dressing, or you can grab some orange juice as well. Orange juice, you can get some olive oil and just throw some salt and pepper, or you can make like a cinnamon cider vinaigrette, which I have on uh, the eight week bikini body abs program. So this, get in on that. Like nobody is not gonna enjoy this salad. I've even had people who say they hate salads, be like, How okay, I would eat salad? that. I think they just have boring ones, yeah, you know, yeah. it must be. Tomatoes, cucumber, and iceberg lettuce. Right. The most boring of them all. It gets old, yeah. Yeah, I know, that's the thing that's really hard for most people, is how to make a salad interesting. And yeah. with a little knowledge, you can make a hundred different types of salad. Yeah, you and can even have the same ingredients and make different combinations. Mm -hmm. And one tip that I like to share with you guys is cut your ingredients differently. Yeah. Mentally, it makes you think that it's a completely different salad even <laughs> though it's the same ingredients. But if it looks different, which you do by cutting it differently, then you trick your brain into thinking it's something else and it keeps it more exciting. 
Yeah, I always think about that when I cook beets because I have, you know, you get the beets and they come in a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And usually all I need is one for my hummus and I have two leftover beets. So I'm like, what do I do with them? And then I'll cut them in different ways and put them in a container. And I find myself going to the different uh, pieces at different times. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that looks good right now. Duh, no, I can't. I'm not going to do that little tiny one. Not for me. I'll take the long strips though. My favorite so, way to prepare beets is just oven roasted with sweet potatoes. Yum. It's the best. Yum. But speaking of salads um, and low carbohydrate diets with um, no raisins, one thing you could add is simply meatballs. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily an orange food, but it goes well with any type of salad, soup. You just make them, bake them, and make them and bake them. <laughs> make them, bake them. I like that. <laughs> bake them. And they'll last you a couple of days, and it's great food to grab also to have on the go, to add to your salads, add to your soups, add, like, meatballs just go with anything. Oh, they do. Really. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you cut, a, you fry up a piece of chicken, and you're like, what do I do with this? <laughs> and uh, meatballs is just always a go-to. It's amazing. Yeah. So that rounds out our array of beautiful orange foods. We also wanted to just hit on the topic of high quality products because mm -hmm. that's what we are really big on and that's what we use to make all of this food. Another thing I forgot to hit on was that goji berries are in the salad. We like to add superfoods wherever we can. So that's a superfood that's really good for your eyes. So, you know, it's turning fall. Maybe it's a little darker than normal. Gotta have good eyesight. Gotta have good eyesight. Keep safe on the road. <laughs> and these oranges are somewhat orange. These oranges. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> Look tomatoes. at the bottom of it. That's I so know, cool. right? Look at that. Tie-dye. Heirloom tomatoes, man. <laughs> Anyway, that rounds it out. Those are our recommendations, our orange foods, and everything. So be aware of what's in season in your area. It's whatever, it might be summer where you are, here it's fall. Just eat what's in season and eat locally. It's the best thing you can do for yourself, the environment, and everyone will be happy. Yeah, <laughs> woo! So thanks for watching, and to subscribe to either of us, you can subscribe to me, Steph Hendel, Diana. Life as Diana. Yeah, we're both on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, we're there. Not there, then I expect to see you at our retreat, which again is the 23rd to the 28th for the cameraman's birthday and our anniversary. Oh yeah, and mm -hmm. all of this amazing food. World class cooking. <laughs> we love you, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.